Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Just Naughty and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I accomplished these butterfly locks. First and foremost, a store on Amazon named Beverly sent me about three packs of these spring twist crochet hair in the color 1B. These are 12 inches and believe it or not, three packs was just enough. As you guys see, this was easy to separate. I ended up separating a couple of packs to prepare myself to install these locks. The first two rows at the bottom only needed one strand of spring twist hair, but as I started working my way up, I started using one and a half and then two. To begin with, I'm gonna crochet the spring twist hair through the root of her braid. And now we should be left with crochet here on the left and the right. The hair that's gonna be on the left, I'm gonna use that to hold on to the um, braid with. And the hair that's on the right, I'm gonna use that to wrap. Now I'm wrapping close at the root a good four to five times, maybe even more depending on how I feel. I am wrapping tight and close together so that the braid doesn't show. When I'm ready to create my butterfly loop, I'm simply just splitting that hair that's on the right in half and I'm twisting on top and then at the bottom to secure it. After creating that butterfly lock, I go back to wrapping a couple of times before I do another butterfly lock, just to give some space in between each butterfly loop. Whenever I do create my butterfly loop, I am wrapping light around it because I do want my butterfly loop to show, but I also don't want it to look too distressed. This is what my lock looks like when I'm done. I'll show you guys how I do the end towards the ending of the video. I'm gonna show you guys again how I do this. I'm gonna put the crochet needle through the root of the braid, and then I'm gonna pull only half of the crochet hair through. Now that the crochet hair is in half, the hair that's on the left side, it's gonna be held with the braid, and the hair that's on the right side, I'm gonna use to wrap. I'm wrapping as close as I can to the root, but I'm not going to wrap too tight because I do not want the style to be uncomfortable. You can keep wrapping to your liking until you start the butterfly loop. I do like to leave some space at the top before I get to that messy look. To create my butterfly loop, I'm simply splitting the hair that's on the right side in half by using my thumb to split it in half. And then I'm gonna wrap on top and then on the bottom to secure that loop. I am wrapping quite a few times. I'm not really counting how many because each time is different. But I do wanna create that clean look in between each butterfly lock. So that's why I give it that little space in between each butterfly loop. It is optional the amount of times that you create a butterfly loop. You can have them close together or you can have them far apart but make sure whatever you're doing to one lock, you do to the next lock. I'm not saying that they're gonna look identical, but if you're gonna make the loops close together on one lock, make sure the next one's gonna be close together as well. I'm gonna show you guys how I do this one more time, but this last one is gonna be for you visual learners. Stop on 
this is the end of my video i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and leave it a thumbs up if you guys have any questions then leave a comment down below in my comment section and don't forget to subscribe on your way out see you guys in my next video